Hey family, it's Brittany Bell with another Power Parent Moment. See, I was calling some parents of students who were not doing so well in my class, and I then thought about something I talk to other teachers about all the time. It's a very important concept that many parents tend to overlook in regards to setting the atmosphere for academic success. See, over the years, I've found there's one thing that you can do and that when it's done consistently can have a major impact on things like behavior and grades. But before I tell you what it is, I want to ask you a quick question. How often should you contact your child's teachers? I can't tell you how many times I have been in meetings when I hear parents say things such as, how was I supposed to know she was failing or why didn't y'all contact me until now? To this, teachers and administrators typically reply by explaining things like progress reports and report cards and all the letters and phone calls you never responded to. Now, at this point, the parent realizes the school actually did their job. So this is when they unleash their anger towards the child, asking questions such as, why didn't you show me your report card and where are these letters they're talking about? As you can see in this example, that the responsibility of communication was everyone else's except the parents. Don't be this parent. Most important tool that you can use to help your child be successful is communication. Power parents don't wait to be contacted, they initiate the communication. Power parents and teachers should be a team working together to promote success of your child. You may not be the parent I described earlier, but if you know you can definitely improve in the communication department, I want to share three quick tips to get you communicating like a power parent. Number one, collect all contact information for the school and specifically your child's teacher. This includes email addresses and any other app for communication they may be using like a Remind or Class Dojo. Having this information handy is one less obstacle in the way of great communication. For an extra bonus, ask the teacher do they have a certain time they like talking to parents like during a planning period. This information can help you complete the next step. Number two, create a contact schedule. This requires you to be proactive because it takes a little thinking ahead. You will need to pick one to two days each month that you contact your child's teacher. This is so important. It can be as easy as setting yourself reminders in your phone. When you are consistent, you can eliminate so much confusion between you and your child by developing an ally in the classroom. Now, for details on what to say when you make contact, I will provide in an upcoming Power Parent course. But a simple way to start is, How's my child doing in your class? That should get you going in the right direction. When your child knows that you have a relationship with their teacher, they will be less likely to misbehave and you will stay up to date on your child's current progress. So there will be no end of the year surprises. Number three, ask for access to grades. Most school systems use a grading tool that allows for parents to have real-time access to student grades. Most of these programs have apps so you can access it right from your phone. Just like you can get a notification from Facebook, TikTok, or Instagram, you can get a notification from the school when a teacher updates grades. All right, that's it. I hope these tips help. I know that because you will communicate like a power parent, school life can get a little easier to navigate. If you have some tips, stories, or questions about communicating with teachers, drop it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and share so that you won't miss another power parent moment. Bye-bye.